So for heaven knows how long I've been using these little LM386 ICs for my small amplification needs. They provide about a watt or so of output into an 8 ohm speaker and you know run from 6 to 9 volts or so perhaps even a little bit more but uh, they're getting on a bit in age and well I was looking on AliExpress and I saw these little modules so rather than the LM386 which I believe is maybe a class AB type amplifier these are a class D amplifier they're working in the digital mode and they consist of one of these PAM 8403 chips and they're ridiculously cheap uh, so here's a little potentiometer on it and uh, it's got a nice little quick clicky on and off switch there's a surface mount electrolytic smoothing capacitor here and uh, just a few more caps and resistors on the body of this device but it's really quite small and they only cost a dollar ten US delivered so very affordable so tonight I'd like to see how this thing performs in practice and in order to do that I just need to connect some connections up here so we've got connections for the speaker on this side then connections for the power it says it'll run off 2.5 to 5 volts I'm going to try and run it off 5 volts tonight uh, just using one of these little USB mobile battery booster things so put 5 volts into that and then the inputs on this side so I'm going to have a go of connecting that to some of these speakers these are kind of cool chunky little speakers and let's see what the performance of these things like one issue I've noticed with these is that the whole pins across aren't uh, spaced such that there's uh, a tenth of an inch where the spaces are so you can't just run a whole lot of strip along here and get it to work so instead we're going to have to solder in uh, a number of these headers broken up for each of these sections which is a bit of a pain but not a huge deal so I'll begin by doing that and soldering some leads to the speakers and something to connect up this USB power bank like this uh, just an old USB cable that I found strip the ends off so I'll put some ends on that and we can then give it a bit of a go almost done wiring up connections so just got to tuck all these uh, speakers now putting little leads on them and uh, good amount of solder onto there make sure that we've got a good joint and also on this side black signifying negative the white lead signifying positive and that should do it Alright, I've got all the parts I need together now. I've got my two speakers wired up with uh, connections on the end like so. I've got a little jumper cable here. This is going to patch the input through to a little MP3 player board here, which I'll discuss in a later video. I've got my old USB plug here with the two wires coming off here to supply power to this thing and of course I've got the module so let's hook it all up okay so because this is a live recording I'm bound to connect the power backwards or something can blow the unit up but um, let's have a go at connecting this so we'll start with the safe connections first let's connect the speaker on the right to the right output here and uh, negative connection goes to the outside and positive connection in the middle so I believe that with these amplifiers 
neither side that the speaker connects to is referenced to ground. And hook the left speaker up to this as well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now I'll hook my power plugs up. Negative, positive, but uh, I haven't got that plugged into the battery box yet. And lastly, I'll connect the output of my MP3 player. So strategically arrange this so the black connection in the middle signifies ground and the white and brown connections signify the left and right channels. And uh, looks like this is gonna be a bit pesky plugging these three things in, but uh, we're there now. So everything's hooked up. MP3 module here playing away. So let's plug this into the battery booster. Like so. Switch the power on. Nothing's gone up in smoke yet. And let's give this the test by switching it on. So a bit of Beethoven's Ninth there. I'll just flick over to maybe a, a dance track or something to have a comparison. Oh yeah. Look at those speakers go. Very nice. Well, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I don't even have the volume all that high up here. But, um, yeah, it's putting out an impressive amount of sound through these speakers. So, yeah, very nice. $1.10 US with free shipping. Well spent. I'll be putting that to good use in the future. A little PAM 8403 module from AliExpress. Easy to hook up. Easy to run off 5 volts and uh, pretty decent sound output, I reckon. So, if you found this clip useful, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Let's play out with a bit of this free YouTube music.